Olson running as an independent, Rob Perot as the Republican nominee, and Lori Hopkins Kavanaugh, who is a former member of the Republican Town Committee, right. registered Republican running and is a conservative candidate, uh, basically speaking. So in a city where the Democrats have that much of an advantage and the Republicans are split three ways, this primary could decide the election. Yeah. And if less than 1,000 people voted in the last primary, think about how important your one vote is. And the contrast couldn't be clearer. I mean, you have someone who is new, who's not connected to the system, and you have someone who is very much a representation of that system. So if you are looking for that change that people in this region, I grew up in this region, have been talking about my entire life, this is it. This, this is, is the chance. moment. This is the moment. This is your chance, and 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 I and I hope we don't blow it. And 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 uh, and and you're you're absolutely right. I do want to. I I, I got to do. I have to say one thing. I went on the Democratic Town Committee, and 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 the lady who I talked about early, Peg Curtin, was the one who but got me to go on with the group my, myself. I have to say that. I, I've, like I said, I've had trouble with Peg in the past and everything else. It's all patched up, okay? I totally support Peg. Uh, those of you who may have missed earlier in the show, I totally support Peg for uh, Board of Education. She's gonna run. I think it's a great place for her. I think she's got a lot to give to the kids and the system. It's really, it's a, it's a good place for her. I, I I support Peg. I also, there's an also a, a friend of mine that I had trouble years ago with, and I, I campaigned against him uh, with people, and, and, and he lost his seat, and that's Bill, Bill Moss, who I, we got ironed out stuff. He went on the uh, Board of Ed. We supported him for that. We will support him again. Uh, my my group and the people I work with will support uh, will support Bill again. I was actually hoping that he was going to run for the uh, for the council, and and I he, he I guess he chose to uh, uh, to uh, uh, go for the board of ed. So those are two people that uh, 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 clearly I'm, I'm I'm going to work to try and get you in. That's why I resigned from my position. Uh, and and so that uh, so people are real clear now that uh, it, it, I'm not going out there and suggesting I'm uh, we're going out we're going to work for you and 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 hope that uh, you know that we can get you in and uh, we we believe we can and uh, we believe that uh, the, uh, the the city needs a breath of fresh air it needs good leadership and and we believe that you can give the leadership. Well, I thank you for that and for the support and for particularly changing, you know, your position to, you know, keep it, you know, with full propriety and with the laws of 501c3 for your other organization and so forth it means a lot to me. Um, we are a very diverse campaign, as we are a diverse city. Um, I have support from people who have been adamant Republicans, who I know do not like Russ Carmichael. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I know, know that people, too. Uh, who are adamant Democrats who do not like Russ Carmichael. Oh, yeah, and I know people who like Russ Carmichael, who love Russ Carmichael. We have Greens who are working on an almost daily basis on the campaign. We have people working on the campaign who are in their 40s who never registered to vote before now. I have a man working on the campaign who spent two years in New London homeless. Uh, I have people working on the campaign who just graduated from college and are some of the brightest young people you'll ever meet in the city. Uh, I have people working on the campaign who just got out of prison. You know, we are, that's New London. It is New London. And, it's the and, makeup of New London. And, and we've got people from all different stripes because the idea that we as a city can do better transcends party. Yes, we're in a Democratic primary right now. I'm a self-described progressive and I'm a registered Democrat. But the mission here is broader than just a political party. It's more than just a, a race, an election between two people. It's, is it really going to happen? Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up right here. And my family started off in New London 170 years ago in the 1840s. All my life, you hear the same thing. 
Man, that city has so much potential. Look at all the things going on. How come New London can't get its act together? Well, it's because they got this old crowd that runs it for their own benefit. And it'll never happen unless somebody comes in. That has been said my entire life. And what our campaign needs to do, and people who want to support me need to do, is get that message out that here's your chance. You can change it. You yeah. can change you it. You can change it. Because it's not the old system. That's this right. mayor, is it people <laughs> forget is going to have the ability to appoint and fire heads of departments without council approval. Right. Prepare the city budget and have a line item veto over every little piece of that budget. A general veto over anything the council passes and no veto can be overridden except with six out of seven council votes. I mean, this is a very strong, very, very, very strong mayor. And we need to be very careful whose hands we place that much authority in and, but we also need to be hopeful that if it's the right person, things will change. Oh, absolutely. So now, we've been through the last six months of, well, this one's running, that one might be running, and this one's exploring, and we don't know what the town committee's going to do, and well, maybe Ernie's going to jump in, and maybe Wade will run, and maybe Matt, Mike Pastor will get the <laughs> endorsement. You know, It's now a two-person race. It is Mike Bassetto or Daryl Fenizio. And it's a very clear contrast. And if you have been waiting for that moment when you think things can change, you have to get involved now. We have seven and a half weeks. And if the people out there who are listening, the people who have believed in this, start getting involved, it will happen. But if people just sit back and say, well, we'll see, we're going to miss that opportunity. Because these strong mayors in other cities that have the system of government, they are in there for a very long time. 20 years, 24 years. Dan Malloy was mayor of Stanford 16 years. Menino's been in Boston oh, my, 24 my, years. My, 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 man, my, 30 my, my years. Newton, my, man, oh, man was, man was in there forever. forever. So okay. the real chance to get somebody in is in that first election. Because a lot of people said to me, well, why didn't you run for council first? Why didn't you wait till you lived in the city a little longer? It's because I've done this and I know this is the shot. This There's is one it. shot. Right, exactly. Because if someone gets in there and consolidates all that power and has the ability to hire and fire everybody, no one bucks them at that point. Very, very difficult. To get them out. Very, very difficult. Extremely difficult. To they go out. by retirement, That's or right. they go down in oh, federal corruption. Yeah, oh, well, well, yeah. Or they go, or or they they go, go up. up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, and, and before, before, we, and and, I, and that's see, uh, being the old man that I am. Uh, okay. Uh, and and uh, I don't know. I and I wrote, and I well, I've only got a minute or two here. My, see, I, I looked at your stuff. I analyzed you. You know, we we checked you out. I checked your bosses. You you went to you where you taught and everything mm -hmm. else, and found out what, what, <laughs> what kind of guy you were and everything mm -hmm. else like that. Because looking at your credentials and and having been around for a lot, a lot of years, know a lot, a lot of politicians family, friends, stuff like that. I said, here's this young man. We have an opportunity to get him now, to lead now, because he's a young man, and if he's smart, he can do something here, and if he does what he wants to do and leads, well, he's going to go on. Okay? But I want to uh, say I, something I, about that, well, though. Well, I, mm -hmm. I, yeah, you, you can say whatever you want, <laughs> but... but that's what I'm looking for, and 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 I, I I was looking for leadership that's good, that's young, and can do something, and potentially mm -hmm. stay or leave. Well, the only thing I want to clarify on that is that I've made one commitment in the campaign that's true, and I can kind of prove it actually. Uh, I'm not going to run for any other office as long as I hold the office of mayor, and let me tell you why I can prove it. I'm 34. If I served three terms as mayor of New London and left office, which would be a long time, because once you start getting in there over 10 years, you're, you're out of new ideas. It's time for somebody else to come along. Mm -hmm. I would be 46. I would still be one of the youngest people to run for some other office that I ever did. Senate, so, governor, so I'm not, whatever. Right, I'm not running for mayor because in two years or three years, I'm out of here. Right. 
And I didn't move here to run for mayor. I moved here because this is where we wanted to live. I bought my permanent home before this all started. So win or lose, I'm staying. So I'm a lifelong committed New Londoner now. And political career down the road, one other thing to say about that. Number one, there's plenty of time for that much later because I'm young. But the other thing is, <laughs> if you've been around politics, you know that today you're on top of the world and tomorrow <laughs> you're gone, buddy. Right, right, you know, be a the, poll, poll. The, the, poll, the, poll, the polls go up and down. <laughs> and, and, never know. Yeah, exactly. and if you're going to do this job right, you can't worry about that. And when I talk to people, in, young people that I teach that want a career in public service, I say, do the job you're in well and that is the best way that you will get another one. Because if you're doing your job looking at the next job, it's the surest fire way to do the job you're in poorly. That's right. So my objective, 100%, is to be mayor, do what I said I'm going to do. And if that makes me very unpopular and I never go anywhere else or get voted out, fine. But I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. Because at least then people respect you. Bless you. And Thank you, I, Father. We're, 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 we're on our way. See you next week.